Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box video overview of the Audio Chord Wizard, or ACW for short. The Audio Chord Wizard has two main purposes. One, it can take an audio file, for example an MP3, Wave, or M4A of your favorite song, line it up in Band in a Box, so that as it plays, the bar lines in Band in a Box match the actual bars of the song. And two, it can actually figure out the chords of that song. So the chords from the song display in Band in a Box as it's playing as well. This makes it an incredible practice tool. You can take an audio file of your favorite song and use the audio chord wizard to have it display like that in Band in a Box and then you can practice along with it or even add Band in a Box real tracks or other instruments into the mix. So I'll take you through the steps here with the song file I have, this pop rock version of the old folk song O oh Shenandoah. If you would like to use this audio file, you can find it in your main BB folder under Documentations, Tutorials, Tutorial BB 2018. It is in the 2018 folder because that was the first version that we introduced the audio chord wizard that was built right into Band in a Box. So I'll just drag and drop the audio file directly into the chord sheet and I'll select to start a new song with the audio file. Our style is currently disabled because right now we just want to hear the audio we imported. So we don't want it generating any tracks that right now would be playing out of sync and playing the wrong chords. So then I'll just press the ACW button here in the toolbar. This opens up the ACW with the multi-window display, which allows you to see the audio edit window and the chord sheet at the same time. So our first step would be getting the audio synced with the song bars. There are a few ways you can do this. The first is to actually manually enter bar lines in the audio edit window. So first, we will make sure the marker mode is set to audio chord wizard. So now we can add our bar lines to the audio file by clicking add bar line. That puts a purple line on the waveform and you can see it also has a little handle so you can move it around to get it exactly where it should be. And now I'll take a quick listen, but this time I will just let the song play and use the L key to add a few more bar lines. And now, with just the first few bars designated, that already has the effect that it's going to line things up if we play it in the chord sheet. And we can see the tempo of the audio file is shown here next to the bar lines, and it has now set the Band in a Box song tempo to match the tempo of the audio file. But if you look a little bit closer, you will see that the bar lines are just a little bit off, making the program think the tempo is a little faster or slower than it actually is. And that's not a problem. I can just manually adjust the markers, and the song will automatically readjust the tempo. But we still need the remaining bars. We could just continue on like that, entering bars manually, but it might take a fairly long time to go through the entire song. So, now that we already have these first few lines added, we have essentially given Band in a Box enough info for it to figure out how to continue automatically. So we could turn on Auto Marking, and now we can see that it's filled in all the remaining bars for us. And if we play the song again, and look at the chord chart, we can see it's now lined up correctly. And in the audio edit window, we can see that the bar lines we specified are purple, and the ones that the audio chord wizard interpreted are turquoise, which is useful information for us to have. But of course, it's not showing us the chords of the song. So now we can click here to analyze, or turn on auto analysis, which is what I'll do. And now we can see the chords of our song in the chord sheet of Band in a Box. 
But if we look a bit further into the file, we can see that it's a little bit out of sync. Most recorded songs wouldn't necessarily have been recorded to a click track, so there might be a slight fluctuation in tempo from the start to the finish, which is all part of real human-made music. This particular song, for example, speeds up a little bit throughout the performance. And we can see further along, the automated bar lines get a bit out of sync. Well, that's no problem. If we just move one of the bars further on in the file, a little bit to line up with the music, all of the previous bars automatically adjust themselves as well. And if we do that in just a few places throughout the song file, we get it nearly perfect with very little effort. And it only adjusts the automated bar lines. When I move one of the lines, which turns the line purple from turquoise, the other turquoise lines, since the previous purple line adjusts slightly, but it doesn't move the last purple line I entered, which is good because that's exactly where I want it to be. So now it's pretty much perfect and I can navigate through the song itself right in the chord sheet. I can enter part markers to indicate the song form if I want. If I click near the beginning of the song, we can see the tempo goes between 85 and 86, indicating that it was likely played somewhere between 85 and 86 beats per minute. And if I click around bar 53, we can see the musicians have sped up a little bit and it's now showing 87 or 88, indicating that the tempo is now likely partway between 87 and 88 beats per minute. But let's say we want the entire song to play at one consistent tempo. Well, we can do that just by pressing the equalize tempo button. It will suggest a tempo of 85, but I'll split the difference between 85 and 88 and just go with 86. And now our whole song is playing back at 86 beats per minute. Another thing we can do is add some additional tracks to it. Earlier, I showed you that the style was disabled, so I'll re-enable it now. Now the style I was using was just a basic metronome style, so there were no real tracks in it, which is actually perfect, so I can add a few a la carte. The song itself already has drums, so maybe I'll put in a percussion FX loop. Maybe a rain stick, which will play in the background for the first several bars. And maybe I'll add a little pedal steel too. Maybe some country blues. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Here's another fun thing we can do with the song now that we have the chords entered we could turn on the guitar tutor to display simple folk chords while playing the song. Which we can also show in notation, along with chord diagrams. One other thing you could do with the ACW during the analysis process is send the MIDI to the soloist track. I'll turn on that checkbox now and reanalyze. Now if we open the notation window or the piano roll, we can get a glimpse of what's going on behind the scenes with the audio chord wizard. Note that this is just a snapshot view every eighth note of the pitches present, not an attempt at a polyphonic transcription and should be viewed purely for analysis purposes. Thanks for watching our Band in a Box Audio Chord Wizard Overview and Tutorial. Have fun!